Let's talk about rate of decay. Imagine a glass that contains 500 milliliters of water. If 12% of the water evaporates every hour, how long will it take for 100 milliliters to remain? Here when we talk about rate of decay, we're talking about the percent decrease of the original amount. So here we have 12% evaporating every hour. Let's model decay using the equation y equals a times 1 minus r to the t power. In this equation, y is equal to the final amount, a is the initial amount, r is the rate of decay, and t is the time. So we'll use this equation and plug in our values. Here 500 is the initial amount, 100 is the final amount, 0.12 or 12% is the rate of decay, and t is the time we're trying to solve for. Here we simplify to 100 equals 500 times 0.88 to the t. Next we divide to get 0 0.20 is equal to 0.88 to the t. Next we take the logarithm of each side, and taking the logarithm allows us to bring down the exponent. So now we have log 0 0.20 is equal to t times the log of 0.88. We divide each side by log 0.88, to find that t is equal to log 0 0.20 divided by log 0.88, or simply 12.59. So it will take 12 hours for 100 milliliters of water to remain from our initial 500 milliliters of water at a rate of decay of 12% every hour. Now let's model decay using a different equation. Here we have the equation y is equal to a times e to the negative kt. The half-life of a radioactive substance is the time it will take for half of the substance to decay. For example, the half-life for a mass of carbon is 5,730 years. In this equation, y is our final amount, a is our initial amount, e is the natural base, and t is time. Let's try to solve for k. What is k? That is, what is the rate of decay of carbon? Here we take in the equation and plug in our known values. The a's on each side cancel out. Here we're plugging in 0.5k because we want to know when we get half of a. Next we take the ln of each side. Here the ln allows us to bring down the exponent on the right side. ln and e also cancel out. So this leaves us with ln 0.5 is equal to negative 5,730 k. Now k is equal to ln 0.5 divided by negative 5,730, which is equal to 0 0.00012. So the rate of decay of carbon is equal to 0 0.00012.